In this tutorial, we're going to discuss receiving data from the user and also handling that data. So for example, in the previous tutorial, we said name equals, and because it's a string, Jack. Now, we've assigned that value and we've defined name and put stored Jack inside name. Sometimes you want the user to actually give you their name. So the way you do this is you use something called the input function. So we start off by typing in input, open the brackets and close your brackets and inside the brackets you open your speech marks and you close your speech marks and you ask them the question what is your name question okay now to prove that the name will be stored inside the variable name I'm just going to print off name as well okay so I'm going to press play. That's okay. So ask the question, what is your name? Jack. So that's the user entering some data. Press enter. And it's printed off the variable name. So that's proved that by using the input function and asking them the question, and this could be anything. The question could be anything you like. Okay. Now, one thing I just want to point out is if you notice here, there's no space between the question mark and Jack. So what I like to do is I like to put a little space after the question. So running this now, when the user types in Jack or whatever, it's given, it just looks a little neater. Okay. You could also, in the print section, if you open up your speech marks and put a comma, you could actually type in hi or hello. And then it just adds hi or hello Jack okay now hope you enjoyed the tutorial